This is the video for lesson 40 on my website, multiplying two digits by one digit. Many students use a calculator to do all of their computations, but it's important to be able to do multiplication by hand, and more importantly, to understand why it works the way that it does. Let's take a look at some examples from the lesson on my website. First, I'm going to multiply 34 times 2. Now notice that I have my places lined up. I have the ones place on top of the ones place and the tens place on top of the tens place. In this case, there is nothing in the tens place for the second number, but still, the places are lined up appropriately, which is very important. Otherwise, we'll do the entire problem incorrectly. Now, in multiplying, we always start by multiplying the ones digit of the second number times the ones digit of the first number. So we basically just do 2 times 4, which is 8. And in this particular problem, there's nothing else to do for that. We just write the 8 in the ones place of our answer. Now I'm going to multiply the ones place of my second number times the tens place of the first number. Now, according to the procedure for multiplication, we'll just do 2 times 3, which is 6, and then write the 6 here. But it's important to, un it's important to understand what's really going on. This 3 in the first number represents 30. It's 3 tens, which is 30. So what we're actually doing is 30 times 2, which is 60. 60 is 6 tens, and that's why we have a 6 in the tens place in our answer. Make sure that you understand that. It's really important to understand that multiplication is not just this magical procedure that works. We really are working with place value. Okay, let's take a look at the next example. 76 times 4. Again, I have my places lined up correctly. Just like we did before, first I'll do 4 times 6. Now that equals 24. Now we have a problem because 24 is a two-digit number. Here's what we do. We're going to put the 4 in the ones place of our answer because in 24 we have four ones and we have two tens. We're going to write a little tiny 2 above the tens place, and what that tells us is that when we work with tens, which we'll do in a moment, we have to add in those two tens that we still have to account for. Okay, now I'll do 4 times 7, and again, remember that the 7 is really 7 tens, which represents 70. Okay, so 7 times 4 is 28, but since we're dealing with tens, it's not 28, it's really 280. Now, stated another way, though, it is 28 tens, which means I'll write 28 in the tens column, or ending in the tens column, which is here. Before I do that, though, I have to add in the two tens from my previous calculation. So it's actually 28 tens plus two tens, which is 30 tens. And I'll write that like this. 30 in the tens place keeping in mind that 30 tens is really the same as 300. Make sure you see how that works. Let's take a look at another example. 99 times 9. Again, starting on the right, we have 9 times 9, which is 81. I have to write the ones, the 1-1, one, one in my ones place, and I'm going to carry the 8 over to here. All this means is we have to remember to add in 8 tens after the next computation. 9 times 9 is 81. Adding in the 8, the 8 tens that we carried gives us 89. So we have 89 tens, which gets written like this. And remember that 89 tens equals 890. I know that many students are thinking that they could just easily do these problems on a calculator, so why bother to know all this? It's just important to understand why the multiplication works the way it does, and it's very important to have a solid understanding of place value and understand what it is that we're really doing when we multiply in these problems. Make sure you fully understand this. In later lessons, we'll take this skill to the next level.